Bucks Beer Reviews, back again with another episode of As the Beer Swirls. We finally made good on our promise. We said we're going to have outdoor videos this year. We did. We said that. And this is a promise to ourselves. It's October, Mike. And so we, we finally it made... Feels like, it feels like July. Come on. Uh, so, Mike. Uh, Dan, Dan, we are outside, mid to late October. Gorgeous weather. Sun's a grill shining. Is grill is going. Lawnmowers are going. What's the only beer we could crack open on this special occasion? A high gravity lager, aka malt liquor. God dang right! Steel Reserve, baby. Hold oh, the cameras up there. <laughs> yeah, it's just screen. Uh, yeah, so right. Steel Reserve. Let's uh, we oh we could dive in. Look at that. Uh, so Steel Reserve, they're from the Steel Brewing Company, which is owned by Miller, which is owned by the Molson Coors. So yeah, sure, that, that's the whole thing. I don't know. Uh, Eight point one ABV, high gravity lager. Um, February 24, 25 is the best by date. Usually they go by six months, give or take. Sure. I mean, I think this stuff is garbage from the get-go, but whatever. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, so what's funny I about this? Steel Reserve, and so I couldn't tell you. We have long. a buddy, uh, Frank. And back in the day, we used to have, like, bets. Who could buy a 12-pack of Steel Reserve and drink the most in one sitting? <laughs> Dear God. And we got up to eight. How we've grown. We got up to eight one time, and it was kind of... <laughs> out of control i mean all right so look at it it looks good yeah like it looks like a beer it looks like a macro lager uh some bubbles rising great two fingers of foamy head on there i mean it looks good <laughs> yeah i mean it it looks like sort of malt liquor. Let's, let, let's let the sunlight describe this beer for everybody uh let's get it with ah there's that sweet malt sweet malt fruits it's a little bright. I mean, it doesn't smell bad either. It looks does, good. Doesn't it, smell bad. It, it smells like it's going to be really sweet. Yeah. But that's malt liquor, right? That's sure. I mean, lager. I think high gravity lagers are going to be. Last one we sweet. have is Jenny Black. So I'm kind of interested to see what this one. That's right. the bar that's been set. So I've been. Cheers. Hmm. Huh, not that bad. I'll tell you what. That's not bad. It's not bad. And you called it pretty shitty from the get-go. I did, but because I wanted to set the bar so low so I could be impressed. I'll tell you what, is this not hitting the spot out here today? <laughs> oh, it's back to line. This is great. We're going to grill these awesome sausages and just... Ooh, uh, we got some Costanza meats on the grill. Oh, okay. uh, Love the Costanza meats. And I'm fairly certain they would want their meats paired with the original. Okay, so uh, not a lot of carbonation to speak of. Body is really full and syrupy. It, it is very syrupy. I think there's a decent amount of carbonation, but it, it, it's... So here's the thing about this, though. <laughs> Bless you. <laughs> yeah, all right, so I'm I'm allergic to steel reserve. Um, here's the thing, though. We tried looking up, like, what... Uh, basically, this is, like, an extract beer. It's, like, hop extract. Yeah, they try to like, fool you on the can and say there's select hops, but... Uh, maybe their printer ran out. It's select hops extract. Ooh, don't go here. It's awfully shadowy. Look, you can't even see me. Look. Dan in the dark. That's the dark Dan I know. <laughs> um, I don't know. It, it, so, it does it drink for the ABV? Uh, yeah, and then some, I think. 8%? I, I think it drinks pretty hearty. Ooh. Like, I, you know you're drinking a beer. What do you like beer. better? Genesee Black or this? Or War Horse uh, Fight Pony. Come on now. I mean, I think I'm still War Horse Fight Pony. Yeah, Fight Pony is good. Man, Jenny Black. Jenny Black was good. Man, this is good. This. I wish we could have done them side by side because I, just, for my terrible memory. I feel like maybe this doesn't have as much of a bite. Okay. This I, I'm pleasantly surprised with. This is good for not having this in forever. Uh, it's hit the spot to be honest with you. <laughs> All right. Um, what do you rate it, Mike? In the I world get, get of, off in the shadows. In the world of malt Ooh. liquors, I don't know. Uh, three nine. I, I have no clue. It's good. I never like a three five. Okay, uh, it's it's not bad. Nah, I'm not gonna break. I'm not gonna. Oh, oh, look at that goodness. Oh yeah. We got to get these things turned yeah, over. So turn uh, some bitches. Hey, I'll turn them right now. Let's turn them right now. All right. Um. You, so guys, you, you guys drink about malt reserve? Liquor? Yeah. What do you think about steel reserve malt liquors? I think we asked this in the Jenny Black one, the Warhorse Fight Pony. Like, is it, a, do you get them once in a while? Do you see them and just scoff at them like they are so far beneath you, uh, you wouldn't even kick them down the street? Again, who's the, who's the market for? Like, I think, I th didn't we discover that? With, was it the Jenny Black one where yeah. we're like, you want, I think this is, and, and why, and why nice. did we get away from the bottles? 
I mean, where's the 40 ounces? 40 ounce glass bottles. Old English guy, kind of they introduced plastic. Boy, that was such a letdown. Play. Well, really what was. a terrible decision. Uh, I, I honestly think that, like we said last time in the Jenny Black one, this is you want a higher, a higher gravity one with a little bit more fruit in there. Yeah, I guess. I guess that's what you want. All right. Uh, anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. What do you guys think? And Mike's reaching out for the can. There you go. Because this isn't the can. Thanks for watching, everybody. Super proud. See you guys.